Uh, Young Pei Chang for 10 says, do you like steak? What is your favorite cut? I do like steak. It's not, it's not really my favorite. If I, if I make, if I eat steak, I almost always cook it myself. Um, and I just, I just, uh, I'll, I'll grill it or sear it myself. I like medium well. I think medium well is objectively the best. I can't, I don't like like rare steak. It just sits icky in my stomach. I don't like it. I usually put a lot of butter on it. And I usually uh, put fragrant herbs in it, like rosemary and uh, and thyme or something. I just like baste it in butter. Um, I don't, I don't, I, I generally don't eat steak that often though. It's just, it's just too decadent. Um, but I will eat it. Uh, I like it with mashed potatoes. This is a really gross story, but I'm going to tell it. When I lived in uh, Ukraine, uh, I had the the luxury of affording very very nice food because it, luxury food there was very cheap <laughs> because uh, all stuff was cheap in Ukraine. And so I I was meeting somebody, and the guy I was meeting was a huge foodie. He was like super super anal about like high quality food stuff uh, to the point where he was very particular about macarons. There was like a confectionery place and he insisted that the macarons there were the top quality. They definitely made them on site. They didn't import any ingredients and it was only the chocolate macarons. He said the other flavored macarons had imported food stuff. I think you just taste the difference. Um, so he insisted that I try the chocolate macarons at this um, Odessa Bakery because they made it by hand and he got disappointed because they started uh, they changed something or started importing stuff and um, no it was not CRP and he stopped going there because they changed the chocolate macarons anyways we went to like a really fancy place that had foie gras which we don't know is a um, filet mignon with uh, fatty duck liver on top and it's considered he said it was the pinnacle of all white culture. It was the best thing that could ever be eaten ever by any person. Uh, a good faux gras is the absolute peak of decadence. And when the one world government takes over, you won't have the luxury of eating it ever again, unless you're in the um, the upper ranks. So I, I ate it, and it was good. And after we left, I went home. And at this point, I was still drinking soda. So I sat down, and I played Dota 2. <laughs> As someone does in Eastern Europe. And I drank a two liter of Coke Zero. I threw up. I threw up a mixture of fatty duck liver, filet mignon, and Coke Zero. And without exaggeration, it was one of the most disgusting things that I've ever been through. Um, I would not recommend it. I would recommend it to literally nobody. And because it hit me so quickly, I threw up in the kitchen sink. So getting rid of it was also its own ordeal. Uh, I would I would literally I would recommend this experience to absolutely nobody. <laughs> It's just a terrible faux gras is pretty good, um, but I'll I'll say this. Apparently, even though it's the most delicious thing that exists on the planet Earth, according to some people, um, I think I'm turned off of it. <laughs> I would never jump for a faux gras <laughs> at this point in my life. <laughs> yeah, soda is poison. It is. I'm glad that I I think that not eating not drinking soda has improved my health quite a bit. Um, now I just drink coffee and water, but. I probably should stop drinking coffee and switch to tea or something. I was drinking tea at some point, and then um, I moved, and I didn't get to bring my coffee pot or my teapot. So one day, when I return to the U.S., I'm going to get, like, a fancy tea set or something. I don't know. Try to drink tea. I'm debating between trying to get an espresso machine or getting tea. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.